beginning of October last year. I have a fraternal twin brother and a sister who's 29. My mom and dad are still together and both came from Adventist families and put me and my siblings in an Adventist school from kindergarten through 12th grade. I was baptized by my grandfather when I was 13 and at that time I prayed every night, long prayers too. I remember telling God everything about me and asking for his forgiveness for everything. At 14 and 15 though, I started hanging out with kids who were rebellious, always in trouble, weren't really involved with church stuff at home, etc. We started skipping class, experimenting with drugs, and just always finding a way to be unsupervised. Uh, when I turned 16 and got my license and bought a truck, I started smoking weed before school, at lunch, during classes I would skip. Pretty soon I got a fake ID and could buy beer at certain gas stations, so I drank with my friends and bought it for them a lot. When I turned 18 and 19 and started going to college, I really started drinking more and abusing some pain pills that I was stealing from my grandfather who let me live with him and helped me get through school. From 2001 to 2011, when I finally graduated, I spent a decade struggling to maintain jobs, getting arrested, dropping failing classes, squandering student loans, stealing from family members, in and out of treatment centers, at in and out of relationships, and taking advantage of my family and situation. I even convinced my parents to help me go and help pay for a halfway helped me pay to get through a halfway house in Hollywood, Florida, where I got kicked out and stayed homeless for a week before my dad finally got me a bus ticket back home. Alcohol was my main drug, at least the one caused most of me all my problems. Uh, I felt like I was going to die every time I detoxed from it. And when I drank too much, I was a complete wreck. People always smelled it on me, eventually, and no one really ever trusted me, even strangers. So despite my parents' worthy attempts to raise me and growing up in a good home and being taught good values, I chose to rebel and live my life however I wanted to. Um, I remember I told my dad once, uh, it's my life. He hated that. He gave me a long lecture on that one because he worked with somebody that was in their 40s and 50s that used that excuse. And he told me about their life and where they ended up because of that mindset. Anyways, um, I didn't think I was wrong either to use drugs because I didn't believe it affected anyone but me. Now I know and realize more each day in DAP how much other people have invested in me and how I can't avoid the responsibility of being a responsible person. I owe that to myself anyway. Um, by surrendering my will to use drugs and being in DAP, I'm now allowing God's will to be done in my life. Um, getting clean and sober is the first and biggest step for me and my commitment to Jesus. I'm still working on other things right now and peeling back the layers like an onion, but I'm looking forward to when my entire life is completely committed and devoted to serving Jesus or others. So, for, so far in the process, my family has forgiven me. Um, I've gotten back my self-esteem and confidence. Uh, I'm becoming more responsible and I have more hope and faith. Amen. Amen.